Hi, my name is Natalie, and today I'm going to show you a unique and interesting take on a classic Italian dish. This recipe is great if you like to get creative in the kitchen, but I recommend using it when you have company over for dinner. It's guaranteed to leave your guests speechless. Today, we're going to make dishwasher lasagna florentine. Yes, you heard me right, and no dishwasher is not Italian for cheese. We're actually going to prepare a spinach and ricotta cheese lasagna in the dishwasher. Let's get started. Here's what we're going to need today. Half a jar of your favorite pasta sauce. Today we're using Florentine and ricotta cheese. You're going to need half a cup of grated cheese. You can use any kind you like. We're using cheddar today. A cup of chopped spinach. We're going to use half a container of ricotta cheese. Three fresh pasta sheets and your spices. We're going to use Italian seasoning, onion flakes, and garlic. And last but not least is your thick aluminum foil. You're going to need about 20 to 30 minutes prep time. The first thing you're going to want to do is get your one cup of spinach chopped. Chop that into small pieces until it is finely chopped. Put that right into a bowl. All right, and next step, we're going to get our aluminum foil. You want your three sheets and you want to lay them flat on your surface. And then we're going to take one of our pasta sheets and we're going to spread on some pasta sauce. I do a thick layer all over and just go close to the edges but not totally. You don't want any to seep out on you once we start assembling the lasagna. Just helping. All right, and next we're gonna actually mix our ricotta cheese and our spinach together. Once you have that mixed together, you're going to spread a layer of this on top of your pasta sauce. And you want to use about half of this because we are going to repeat the layer at the end. Perfect. All right, now once you have that in there, we're going to follow up with our grated cheese. A helping of that on there. And then we can top with our spices. So first we will use Italian. Our dried onion flakes. And I do recommend using dried onion flakes. It reduces the moisture if you were to use a fresh onion. And our garlic. Right, and once you have that on, we can put on a new pasta sheet and we're going to repeat all the layers. Pasta sauce. Finish with our, or finish off our ricotta cheese and spinach mixture. Okay. And our grated cheese on top. To put a good helping, I really like the cheese. And then once again, we're going to top off with our spices. A little Italian seasoning. Onion flakes. There we go. And garlic. All right, now for the third and final sheet, we're actually going to cut the last pasta sheet and cut them into strips. You want about 3 8 of an inch strips. Now, what we're going to do with these, we're going to use these to do a crisscross weave on the top to kind of fancy up the presentation. So we lay them all vertically first, about half of them. And then we're going to take the other ones and we'll need to cut 
cut those ones in half. And we're going to weave that over and under on the top. Now you can just use your flat uh, sheet without cutting it if you want. This just kind of gives it a little extra oomph when you serve it up. important step which is the wrapping. We'll start with the two shorter sides. We're going to bring those to meet over the lasagna and then we're going to just start to wrap it down like a paper bag until it is flush over the top of the lasagna and just pat it down and then you're going to fold in the side just like a present bringing in the corner and then bringing up the rest. Make sure that is. And just be careful not to tear it. Okay. Now just give it a once over. Make sure you didn't puncture it or leave any holes. Just make sure it is wrapped tightly. Now that you have that wrapped, we're going to put it in the dishwasher. Now you want to make sure this lies flat on the bottom and avoid trying to set it on any tines because they can puncture the tin foil while you're actually running the dishwasher. We're going to throw in our dishwasher detergent. And close that up. Now, you're going to want to set it to your lasagna cycle. If you don't have a lasagna cycle, that's okay. You can use your normal cycle and select your heated dry as well. Okay, that cycle is going to take about two hours. So now you can sit back and relax and wait for your lasagna to cook while your dish is clean. A couple of tips. Some dishwashers have heat conserving options on them like economy or cool dry. You want to avoid those because you want to generate as much heat as you can in the dishwasher. Uh, the serving we prepare today is for four. If you want to make more, just simply double the recipe, but make two separate and wrap them separately and cook them in the dishwasher. Uh, we're going to take a break right now, and when we come back, our lasagna should be ready. If you want to break the mold and do something different and entertaining, then try this recipe. You won't be disappointed, and neither will your guests. Thanks for watching.